Hi everybody, it's Lynn from Lynn's Crafts. And I'm really hoping you can see this. <clears throat> it's one of those um, foam pumpkins. I'm just going to cut the label off. I think it might have come from the Lowe's a couple of years ago. I, I, I had my husband buy it because I wanted to um, redecorate it and then it just sat there. So I finally come up with what I want to do with it. And like I said, I really hope you'll be able to see it. Um, I'm debating on whether I should sand it or not. Alright, I'll decide that and then I'll be back. Now I've just got a brown paper sack that I split down the back where the seam already is. Now I'm just going to cut the bottom off. Now I have crumpled it up. <laughs> <coughs> Really, really, really want it very crumpled. Then we can spread it back out. Now I'm going to cut off this end right here where the seam is. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> Now, ideally, what you want to do is tear it into little pieces. And what I mean by little pieces is something like that. I really don't want these straight edges if I can avoid them. If I can avoid the majority of them anyway. A few little pieces won't matter that much, but <clears throat> you mainly want the torn edges. And so I'm going to tear up this whole piece <laughs> and then I'll be back. Now, I've got my spray bottle of water, some matte medium, really and truly um, the glue that you use, be it decoupage or whatever, really doesn't matter. I'm just using the matte medium because A, it's what I've got, and I do want it to have a matte surface when I'm done. So, torn all the pieces. Just pick me out a couple. Just spray them down a little bit. I don't really want them soaking wet. I just want them damp enough to form around the pumpkin. So I did decide to sand the pumpkin.
Just give it a good wipe down to make sure you got all the sanding dust off. Then I just opened the matte medium. Alright, then I just slap the matte medium on the back. And form it to the pumpkin now the one thing I really don't want to do but it it doesn't matter whether you follow what I do or not <laughs> I really don't want to put the matte medium on the front side I really just want it on the back And really for no other reason than just because I really want it to have that. That brown paper. Surface when I'm done. If it looks like it's not wanting to stick very well, then by all means, put the matte medium on the front. Hmm. That's what it's looking like, folks. Okay, so just continue on until you get the whole thing covered. I'll be back when I'm at least halfway done, if not all the way done. Here it is, not quite dry yet. It's drier on the top than it is on the bottom. But I'm at a good point to start the next part. This is the Baroque 4. It's the IOD and Prima when they were together mold. I think it's been discontinued, but you may still be able to find it. I'm, I'm not sure. Alright, I'm going to use this one right here, um, and yes, it's the one that everybody uses, but it's the one that fits. So, I've got this DOS modeling material. And if you've heard me talk about it before, I really don't like it. I, I like the way it performs. I don't like the way it smells. The one I had before was the Creative Paper Clay. And this is just... Oh, what I had back in stock. <laughs> Okay, it's it works just fine. It, it's perfectly malleable. 
but it stinks. So if you hear me trying not to inhale, that's why. <laughs> Sorry if I shake the camera around a little bit. Normally, I don't have near this much trouble. Getting it out of the mold. I'm sorry, buddy. I'll come let you out in just a minute, baby. So as you can see, uh, Booger did up pretty bad. I 
Okay, but I don't care. <laughs> it's all just part of the charm. Alright, so I'm going to do four of these. I think. Yeah, I'm going to do four of these and I'm going to glue them down with uh, my 3D yeah, my 3D matte gel. I just need something a little bit stronger. Okay, here it is so far. Now I'm going to use the Baroque 3. And I'm going to use this little little one up here. This little one right here. <clears throat> And again, I'm going to make four of these. I'll do one on camera. Now you could use resin in this and uh, take it out when it's still in the soft stage, the 10 minute resin, or you could use the hot glue, um, so long as it is something flexible. Um, polymer clay would be different. Okay, sorry about that, my camera battery died. Okay. Okay.
A lucky break there. <laughs> Okay, now I'm sorry I know y'all can't see, but it's really looking good so far. I'm gonna add, I'm gonna add one more detail down here at the bottom. I believe. Okay, so I'm gonna make a decision, and I'll be back. Alright, now I'm back to this Baroque 4. I'm going to do this. I don't know what you call it, but that's the one I'm going to do. Huh. I'm do it and place it along the bottom. I may screw up by not cleaning the mold first, but and I and you can uh, dust it with some cornstarch or. Something of that nature. Press it in good, make sure it's all made good contact. And then I'm going to start to scrape it away with. my thumb I just picked out a few colors 
This is the Americana by Deco Arts, the bittersweet chocolate. This is the persimmon. And then I've got folk art in the metallic vintage copper. And I believe this one's the bronze. Although I don't know where it says that. Oh, it's the Pope. Uh, it's the royal gold. <laughs> Painted it over so I can't read it. But I picked this vintage copper because it's a darker, more chocolatey color. So I'm going to start with the brown. don't know how well you're going to be able to see this. Find a brush. I'm going to start on the bottom. Okay, so since you've all seen people paint, <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint well far enough up if, at least to come part way up these um, embellishments. So I'll do that and then I'll be back. Okay, now I'm gonna paint the top half with this persimmon. And this persimmon is a more opaque color. Orange is really transparent, translucent, however you want to say it. This is a more burnt orange type of color. And once again, I'm sure you watch plenty of painting. This paper clay is really absorbent, so it will certainly eat up your paint. Now, try to put links at the bottom, I think, maybe, for the two um, Prima IOD molds. If I can find any. <laughs> um, the others are just the folk art and deco art um, acrylic paints. But any brand will do. And the Lindy Stamp Gang. You, know, you could really use any colors. Um, the gold and 
the other one is an iridescent purple that's an orange face okay <laughs> so um i've got my social media links as well as my amazon affiliate link and my etsy shop link where i have all my jewelry i have recently just started a patreon page so if you're interested i'll put that link down below as well all right bye for now